What is up everybody? Hope you're doing well. For today's video, I wanted to sort of like walk you through my thought process of like what I'm thinking when I'm throwing an outfit together. So I thought for today, I just filmed myself for seven days in a row and filmed the seven outfits and explained what I'm wearing. And I've learned quite a lot in this week, right? And I wanna share my thoughts with you now. So the first thing that I learned was that I wear the same pair of pants almost every day. <laughs> And that's basically because I'm too lazy to like change. You know, when I, once I put a belt in a pant, I wear it until I put it in the washer and then I put the belt in the next pants, right? So I'm, I'm kind of too lazy. So don't follow my example when it comes to pants. That's all I'm trying to say, I guess. But yeah, so what is my thought process when I'm throwing an outfit together? So I usually base my outfit on mood. So let's say I'm super relaxed. I just want to like chill out. I put on something that's relaxed right so that's comfortable and a bit more like baggy and whatnot so that's number one right based on mood right when i'm going to my studio i dress more like artsy i guess than when i'm like i don't know meeting my parents you know like different scenarios and then based on that scenario obviously i have sort of a mood and based on that mood i create my outfit that might get clearer later when you see the outfits another thing i usually do is i wake up in the morning and i'm thinking okay i want to today i want to wear drip sneakers and so it's usually one piece that i that i'm certain i want to wear that day and then i sort of like build my outfit around that one piece right and it's usually it's never pants right <laughs> i guess you you know that by now i'm not a big fan of pants but it's usually shoes or like the top sort of right so like a jacket or a shirt or whatnot and i then build my outfits around that right so that's principle number two i guess or three another thing that i'm really like trying to focus on when i'm throwing my outfit together is i'm trying like to balance the different pieces if that makes any sense right so let's say i'm wearing a white shirt which is looks pretty formal obviously right then i want to down dress or dress that down with a pair of sneakers so i'm always trying to have like the balance or when i know i don't know i'm wearing like a greg lauren hoodie that has like holes in it i'm trying to like dress up the rest of the outfit if that makes any sense right to always have like sort of a balance between like formal and informal i guess or homeless and formal <laughs> in my case so yeah i think those are my principles it was like four or five principles that i usually try to check right with every outfit uh, it's not always like i obviously don't have a checklist right i'm not doing it like on purpose but that's sort of like i don't know how my mind works and how i like my style progressed over the years and like the sort of rules that i that i learned oh one more bonus i always try to look like i don't care i think there's nothing worse in a man than like if you see him he looks like he has like spent 30 minutes throwing his outfit together when you care too much when you look like you care too much that's something I always try to avoid, right? So I always like want to look like I've just threw something together. Right? That's my my goal, I guess, right? So anyway, enough talking. As I said, in the last seven days, I had seven different outfits and I want to show you those now. Right, so my wife and I were on the way to meet my parents. So I'm trying to dress kind of smart, right? I'm wearing glasses, which I actually just found, right? There's our Regards glasses. If you don't know Regards, I'll link them down below. So it's a cool brand. I just found those and I just decided to wear them. I don't know if it looks cool or not. Let me know down in the comments, please. So the MA Cross blazer, right? That you all know, kind of long silhouette, purple-ish kind of color, linen fabric, always looks kind of cool and then the satisfied running uh, headband actually that I repurposed right as a neck band kind of thing then regular old plain gray t-shirt with my helmet length pants and down below I'm wearing OG ish but well, actually retro but the OG retro version of the Edge Jordan ones black and red modern people call them breads Right. I just watched The Last Dance on Netflix, so I'm feeling kind of inspired to bring those, break those out. And then lastly, I'm wearing a Skinosh prototype belt that I'm currently doing. Right. This is a 925 silver buckle, double buckle, 65 grams of silver. And then this leopard print rockstar kind of leather here. And then, of course, as always, I'm rocking my 
Skinosh credit card holder. And yeah, that's the fit for today. Please let me know what you guys think, right? Down in the comments. So as I said, I'm meeting my parents, right? And I'm trying to be like, like dress with character, but not too in your face, right? So I'm trying to be like, keeping it on a DL, but always still like bringing some characteristics or like my personal taste into it. So yeah, that's my fit for today. Hope you like it. So today is the birthday of my wife's sister, right? So it's gonna be like a barbecue kind of scenario. So today I'm wearing, since it's like kind of like a spring weather, like I'm layering heavily today. So I'm wearing a like standard flannel from Dickies. Underneath I'm wearing a Rick Owens uh, overshirt that I've reviewed before. Then just a basic plain old t-shirt. And as for shorts, I'm rocking Cedric Jacquema shorts. Those are, were actually pants that I just cut off myself. Like pretty cool, like thin fabric, drop crotch, pretty decent. And then just Nike and Undercover Day Breaks in black. One of the most underrated shoes in my opinion. So kind of a classic fit. Nothing too fancy since it's with the family, you know, but I still wanted to get like some character in as well. So cool combination, also perfect for the weather and layering. It's about like 20 degrees today, so. Yeah, good to go. So today I'm in my studio. I just got some orders in for some custom briefcases that I'm making. So I'm spending the whole day here today. And this is like tip, one of my typical outfits that I choose when I'm spending the day at the studio. Right, I should be comfortable. So I'm wearing satisfy running hat, right, just because I didn't have time to get a haircut yet. Then as for shirt, the Greg Lauren Destroy Hero hoodie. Then relaxed helmet lung pants. Obviously Skinosh card holder and CCP drip sneaker. So pretty relaxed outfit, but I'm spending the whole day here at the studio, right? So it has to be relaxed. <laughs> Today I'm meeting my friend, like rare opportunity to go outside, so today it's kind of hot, but it's probably gonna get a bit colder later today, so I'm dressed kind of like more versatile, I guess. So let's start at the bottom, CCP Drip Seeker, the low version, right, perfect for summer. You know that pair, I've been using this before, it's a pretty comfortable shoe, but still low cut, not too hot for summer, and then on top, or oh, rather has a pants, I'm wearing the helmet lung pants that you all know by now. Then just regular plain old tank top and then the Elena Dawson shirt on top. Then it can roll down when it's too hot, uh, too cold and roll up when it's hot. And then just a regular old hat. I don't even know by what brand that is. Yeah, and that's it. Actually, Munchen band, just plain and simple for today. Still kind of formal with the white shirt, but since I leave it open, so it's kind of relaxed as well. The hat as well. So yeah. Oh, and and of course I finished the Skinosh belt. Got a leopard leather. 65 grams of sterling silver, 925 silver, all hand stitched. And this is kind of like the accessory part that is hanging down. Yeah. Right, so today is a lazy Sunday. I'm just going out with my wife to get some coffee and it's pretty like rainy today. So maybe let's start at the top. Today I'm wearing the Stone Island uh, beanie that I usually wear. 
than the North Face Black Series KK hoodie that I did a separate video on. Then the good old Emmett Langknecht, of course, Kenosh uh, credit card holder, and the Boris Bajin Zaveria and Salamon Bamba 2. And then I'm popping over the Stone Island Vortex ring jacket that I did a video on as well. And yeah, yeah, that's my outfit for today. Pretty protected from the elements, lots of Gore-Tex. And yes, let's go. So today I'm going on a dinner date with my wife after the COVID-19 situation has like died down a bit. Restaurants are open again, so I'm really excited to go to a hot pot Chinese dinner tonight. We've never done that before, so it's kind of interesting. So anyway, today I'm wearing, let's start at the bottom maybe, bring like a tech element in the shoe that I reviewed before, which is the Nike React City, and then in terms of pants, we have the Helmut Lang pants that I usually wear day in and day out. The shirt is plain old white shirt, just to break the outfit up a bit. And then my Skinosh leopard belt. Then as for the blazer, the Jeffrey B. Smalls blazer, which is quite formal because it's a pinstripe, right? But it's quite the cool contrast with the white shirt, which is casual. And then the pinstripe here, and then my favorite coat, which I got for my wife, I thought it was kind of fitting since I'm, it's a dinner day with my wife. The coat that I got for my wife. And then the old old chauffeur hat. So I think in total it's kind of a cool look. Kind of a mix between like casual, formal, but also a tech element in as well. So yeah. <laughs> So today we're going for brunch, so I threw a quick outfit together, started at the bottom maybe, uh, CCP derbies that you all probably know, then this kind of became a theme behind with lung pants for the week, then of course Skinosh uh, credit card holder, this is a new version made out of culata, Skinosh double buckle belt, and then the third Skinosh piece in this outfit, um, shoulder bag, culata, hand tight, military lock, Greg Lauren split shirt, as well as the cowboy hat. So quick outfit, kind of hot today, so I think I'm dressed quite appropriately. Right, so those were my seven outfits, seven days. Hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know down in the comments what's your favorite outfit. As you can see, I wear the same pair of pants almost every day, right? Next week it's gonna be different pants, don't worry. But yeah, so different scenarios, different outfits, Kind of interesting, cool experiment for me as well, right? Because you never really like keep a log of what you wear and how you wear it and whatever. So yeah, please let me know down in the comment like what's your philosophy as well, right? Do you have like one piece and you build the rest of your outfit around that? Do you sort of have like a principle like informal versus formal? Or do you dress based on mood like I do as well? So please let me know down in the comments. It's such an interesting topic, right? And it's, I think it's a topic that we can explore more together in future videos as well. So if you have any cool video ideas around that topic, let me know. And yes, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in our next video. Cheers.